the keeper of Israel, the I am that I am. I want to appreciate you this morning for your goodness and mercy upon our life. It is by your mercy we have not consumed. It is by your mercy we have gathered this morning. It is by your mercy we are who we are. Lord, I bless you for all your children that are awake this morning to come before your presence. Lord, into your hands we commit our spirits before you. Lord, you say whatever we commit into your evil hands, be safe and secure. Lord, our going out, our coming in, every activities of today, our children going to school, those that are going to offices, those that are going to where they are working. Lord, I ask you, Father, in glory, that no bad news will near us today. Lord, I pray that your joy will not depart away from us. I pray that your joy will go with us. I pray, Holy Spirit of the living God, that you will take absolute control, that at the end of this journey, we will have the cause to rejoice. Eternal Rock of Fiji, we invite you this morning to speak to us. Give us the message that will enable us to continue the journey, that at the end of today, we will have the cause to rejoice, Father, for in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Brothers and sisters in the Lord, you are all welcome once again to this another session of Good Morning Jesus Family Foundation. Uh, this morning, we are going to be looking at a message, a message that says, the message that says, the night is far spent. The night is far spent. The ninth is fast spent, S P E N T. You need to have the understanding that the ninth has been spent. The night has been spent thoroughly, and now it is a time of preparation more as never before. A time of getting close to the master and mother as never before. A time of repenting for our simple way more than as never before. A time of living holiness more than as never before. A time of looking into the cross more than as never before. A time of reading the Bible more than as never before. A time of praising the Lord more than as never before. A time of sincerity more than as never before. A time of humility more than as never before. We need to know that the night has the night is far spent. Therefore, you all are seeing the sign that are in the world all over the world today. You and I are seeing what is going on in the world. You and I are seeing the killing of the world. You and I are seeing how people are departing away from the faith. Remember the Bible said, before the coming of Christ, there will be first of all falling away. And then many pastors, many Christians are falling away. Many people that are stand before, but today they have gone astray. And you and I must do everything possible to engage in holiness to engage in righteousness, to engage to praise the Lord more than as never before, because the night, as the night is far spent more than as never before. 
Let's go to the Bible to see what the Lord has for us in the book of uh, Romans, chapter 13. Let's take it from verse 8 because of the time. Let's see what uh, the Lord is telling us in Romans chapter 13. We take it from verse 8. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Romans 13, verse 8. Oh, no man, anything but to love one another. For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. 9. For this thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not keep. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Thou shalt not convert. And if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. 10. Love walketh no in to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. 11. And that, knowing the time, that now it is night time, to awake out, it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Twelve, the night is fast spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and heavy, 14 the last one, but put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ and make not provision for the, for the flesh to fulfill the lost zero. God bless you. In this particular place, we have a lot of messages we are going to dish out. But we need to look at that uh, particular area that said the night is far spent. The day is at hand. Whose day is at hand? The day of the coming of Jesus Christ. The day of taking away the righteous church, the church without a spot and recall. Not every church, not every believers, not every pastors, but those that are prepared is, is, is at hand, is coming to take them away because that word of God, that word of Jesus, Rachel, is coming, it must come to pass. His word, he said, the heaven and earth must pass away, but my word will not pass until he accomplished the purpose why I send him. There is a purpose why the Lord created you and I. There is a purpose why you have been saved a time like this. But there is a purpose why he's bringing all these messages a time like this to remind us of what is ahead that you and I should not be a joker. That you and I should not make caricature with our life, our soul, our glorious journey. That we should not play with what we are hearing, the truth, biding the truth and sell it not. But we need to know that the day of the coming of the king of kings is at hand. Husband that is fighting the wife, wife that is fighting the husband, Christian that are in church, so evil discourse, concerted confusion, living in secret sin, saying my brother does not see me, my sister, they are not seeing me. You must change your way. 
because the day is very is very 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 close more than as never before you need to know this you that are saying i've arrived you need to check yourself if really you have arrived it's only when you have reached heaven that is where that is where you have arrived not when you are still on this earth the day of Jesus Christ, the day of his coming is very, very close. He said, let us wherefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armors of light. You check your life, the works of darkness are they still in you. There is a need of casting them away, the need of cutting off. But some people are not ready to work, to scrape it away from their life. Some people are not ready to do that. But the Lord Jesus Christ is bringing the message to us proper, the name of word of casting out those works of, the, of darkness. Let us look down to see the Bible, what the Bible is saying. Let us uh, look at the book of uh, Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 13. Ephesians, chapter 6, have something to tell us. Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 13. Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 13. Therefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil days, and haven't done all to stand. To stand, God bless you. And also, we turn to Ephesians chapter five. Let's see, read something, Ephesians chapter five, verse 11, to see, to confirm that. Go Ephesians ahead. five, and I have no fellowship with your faithful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Yes. It says, talking to you and I have no fellowship with all with the unfruitful works of darkness. But many of you are still having fellowship with that unfruitful works of darkness. Envy is there. Unforgiveness spirit is there. Worldliness is there. Pride is there. Arrogance is there. Immorality is there. Things there, are you sincerity? You are not sincere not to talk of that. Faithfulness not to talk of that. All these are what they will, all these are the unfruitful works of darkness, but they are still in you. But there is a need for you to know that the coming of Jesus Christ is very, very close. Why the night is past spent. Apostle Paul was having the belief, even in the time of his regime, that returning to, to transform the faithful, the faithful of his, of his church to heaven, he was believing that his Satan is very close. You can check of the yes, not to talk of now. You can see the sign of the fulfillment of the world. When you read John, John chapter 14, verse 3, says something. He said, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again, and I will receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. This is the word of Christ. But if you must be in the place where Christ is living, you must put off, you must cut off those worldly things, those things that does not represent Christ because Christ is holy. Christ is holy. Christ is meek. Christ is gentle. Christ is sincere. Christ did not come to this world to preach himself. Brothers and sisters, Christ did not come to this world to seek his own life. Christ, did, Christ 
His focus was, what can I do? If you must be where Christ is, where Christ is living, it is a, it is a personal decision. It is the it is your decision. You are the one. You are the one that will walk. That is how the Bible says, work out your salvation with fear and what and trembling. But today, we don't want to work it out. How can you work it out? But remember, the Bible said, it is not the work you have done that you are saved. You are saved by the grace. How can you work it out by yourself? Prepare sin. No, I love righteousness and I hate iniquity. You are the one that will say morality, I love you so much. You are the one that will say, no, immorality, I hate you with passion. Do you understand that? It is you that will do this one. It is not the word that Lomi will do for you. You are the one that will say, see, I hate you. I suck you for my life. And see, I have no power to say, no, I will not go. You are the one that will say, righteousness, I embrace you. It is you. I cannot force you not to say, I break your head that you must swallow righteousness. No. It is you. We need to have this proper understanding that an event is coming, event is coming, that believer, believers should not meet. Believers should do everything possible as fit as a Paul was having it is going to happen in his old generation, not to talk of now our generation. Christ warned that he will return, he will return at a certain time, he will return to the earth, he's coming back, to the earth is coming back to take away the faithful one, the faithful one that has prepared is coming at a time that no man or woman expected. You know that we don't know when thief enter the house, but Jesus is coming, but he's not telling you is coming, is a thief? No. What, what did he tell us in that area? Letting us know that his coming is going to be like the time when you, nobody knows when thief enter the house. That when thief is coming, he does not send you a letter. That is how his coming is going to be. You don't know, Mr. Dead cannot call you my friend. I am Mr. Dead. The next two months, I'm going to visit you. He cannot give you a letter. I cannot send you a letter. He does not send appointment letter. Mr. Dead cannot, whether you are a rich man or you are a poor man or you are tall, you are fat, uh, Mr. Dead cannot send appointment letter that I'm having appointment with you. He comes at any time. And nobody, when he's come, nobody can say, oh, don't keep Bartholomew. Bartholomew is my friend. Leave Bartholomew alone. Why are you killing Bartholomew? No, my friend, Mr. Dead cannot hear you. Mr. Dead cannot hear you. You should put off ignorance, cast away every words of darkness around you. Every words of baby, baby, baby Christian. Some of you are still baby, baby, baby Christian. You need to cut off all these things. Some of you are still baby, baby, baby Christian. You have not yet come. You have been having opportunity to hear the truth of the truth walk, uh, the truth message of eternal life that will enable you to reach heaven, but you are not ready to swallow the message. You are still living in error. Let's say in the book of uh, Matthew, Matthew chapter 24, say something to us. Matthew chapter 24. Matthew 24, we are going to read from verse 42 to 44. Are we there? I read here. Matthew 24, from 42 to 44, he said, Watch therefore, ye know not what hour your Lord doeth come. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what, in what watch the thief would come, 
he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. 44, the last verse. Therefore, be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man comments. God bless you. Be ye also ready, for you don't know, you don't know, you don't know the hour. Be ye also ready, for in such an hour as he thinketh not, the Son of Man cometh. But are you really ready? Are you preparing yourself? Or you are still waiting for somebody to tell you, you know there are people that tell you right now they are having telephone call to call Jesus. They, they will just carry phone, they say, I'm talking to Jesus in heaven. Maybe you want them to give you a telephone call, they will tell you, yes, I just called Jesus yesterday. Jesus said that the coming of, is coming, is what, is the next two months. Oh no, some people, I say right now, even Christ is not coming anymore. They are sowing the error into the heart of people, and people are what and people have by the error. They are not living in sin more and more. They are living in immorality. They are doing a cookie business more and more. They are workers in church. As they are coming to church, they put cookie in their mouth. When customer calls them, they will leave the church and go and do business. And the pastor has told them, yes, the coming of Jesus is no, is no more. There is no more coming of Jesus. Or even when Jesus comes, I was hearing a pastor time ago. A pastor was preaching, telling the people, no, sin cannot send them to hell. That sin cannot send. This is the pastor that have a big congregation. The pastors are saying that the church, that the sin cannot send anybody to hell. People abide the error and swallow the error. Brothers and sisters, be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye thinketh not, the Son of Man cometh. You that have no married, be ye also ready. You that are about to marry, be ye also ready. You that have married already, the have children, be ye ready. Be ye ready. Doesn't matter of who you are. Be ye ready, but Lumi. Being that is talking to you, I must get ready. Be ye also ready because the coming of Jesus Christ is very, very close. You check in February when I was coming down to Europe from Nigeria. I never expected what is happening in the world today. Brother, you see, since February. You can testify of the thousands or so, millions or so that have gone far, that have gone. And after that, now you could see what is happening because of the black man, the key in America. You could see what is happening. Remember, the Bible told us in the book of Matthew 24 that all this is, is going to be happening. There will be war, there will be pestilence, there will be all kinds of things. Now, famine is coming. The family will not need to some people. The family is going to torment some people. The family will not need some people. Brother, it's not now you could see what happened, coronavirus that happened in the world. No, but everybody, the whole country have guns, have the cartridge, have bullets to shoot. But who are you shooting? Who are you shooting? You shoot yourself. The bullets, they have been sleeping now. The guns have been sleeping. They carry their guns has been sleeping since February to today. Friend, be ye also ready because ye don't know the hour when it will happen. The night is past spent. It is not a time of joking. It is a time to be serious mother as never before. Brothers and sisters, the king of kings is coming. For this reason, that the master is coming, God's children must also, must always be spiritual ready and must cast off the works of darkness. We must cut, we must cut off the works of darkness. Let's look at a look, chapter 12. Let's look at a Luke chapter 12. We read some place there in Luke chapter 12. 
verse 35, 35 to 40, we close with that by God's grace. Let your lion be guarded about, and your light burning, and ye and ye yourself like unto men. Are you sorry? Are that... you can you read it again? Luke chapter 12, verse 35 to 40. Let your lion be guarded about, and your light burning, and ye yourself like unto men that wait for their Lord, when he will return from the wedding, that when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. Blessed are those servants, who the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Very I said unto you, that he shall guide himself, and make them to sit down, to meet, and he will come forth and serve them. And if he shall come, in the second watch, or come in, in the third watch, and find them so. Blessed are those servants. And this know, that if the good man of the house has known what hour the thief will come, and he will have watched, and not have suffered his house to be broken through. Be ye therefore ready also, for the Son of Man cometh at an hour, when ye think not. Yeah. Then Peter said unto God him, them, God bless you. Friends, fathers and mothers, is a very, very serious matter. It's a very serious matter. If Christ, your Lord, come this morning as we are preaching, as we are good together, would you find you ready? Would you find you ready as a woman? Do you still submit to your husband? As a husband, do you still love your wife as Christ loved the church? As a single brother, do you still really stand on the gap of holiness? Single sister, brothers and sisters, how ready are we? You can see people today are getting crazy on social media getting crazy about error, living in error. People that have no mentor, people that have no truth, people that have no, people that have no solid foundation, everybody today want to be pastors. Brothers and sisters, have you not seen what is happening in the world? I saw what, something that broke my heart, whether yesterday, how a pastor regulated a woman and they, uh, and they went and that they impregnated it there, went to go and uh, send the girl to go and do abortion, whether they was blabbing with uh, about 1.20 million, and then the, the, the lady died. But many of you, those are the pastors, you are calling in Nigeria, say, my father, father, who is your father? The person you don't have, you don't know the foundation of the person, the person that have no truth, the person that is not telling you, you that are looking for miracle, the greatest miracle you should pursue is that your name are written in the book of life. Brothers and sisters, the night is fast spent. The night is fast spent. Don't miss heaven. Don't miss it. Sisters, you that are listening to me this morning, you are, you are having agenda. You are having an agenda to you yourself now you are be waiting husband is not coming you have you have concluded what you are going to do be ye also ready anyone that come on my way i pick the person doesn't matter whether the person is before one night be ye also ready the king of key is coming how do you do business how do you value this money? Do you rob God and rob the people? Be ye also ready. Because the coming of Christ is very, very close. His coming is very, very close, more than as never before. Don't make caricature with your journey. Don't allow a pastor to deceive you. 
Don't allow anybody to play with your glorious journey. Brothers and sisters, this is an event that is going to happen once and forever. It does not have second chance. There is no second chance. If I miss this one, I will follow this one. Brother, if you miss it, can you face the tribulation? Can you face the Antichrist? Be ye also ready because the night is past spent. Let us not joke anymore. The people that is going to be like the day of Sodom and Gomorrah is going to be like the day of Noah. When Noah was making an ark, many people was mocking Noah. But until the day before they realized it was too late, be ye also ready because the night is past past. What is going to happen after that Jesus will come is the revival. That the people all over the world, the place where people have not had the gospel, you remember Jesus said, before it will come, this gospel must be preached to all nations for a weakness so that you will not say, I did it here. But the message is going right now all over the world. Brothers and sisters, bow down your head this morning. Bow down your head. You that have the opportunity to be in a place of truth, do you live by the truth? Are you abiding in the truth? Be ye also ready. The night is far spent. Do you, are you still careful of what is coming out of your mouth? Have you, are you still careful of what you are wearing? I did not, sister, I am saying so, sister, I'm seeing you on the WhatsApp. I begin to pity you that you wear all those things that make can, 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 that somebody begin to admire you. You are worse than the people that are naked on the show grass. You don't understand. Be ye also ready. Whether you are fat or you are slim, as a slim person that are close, you can wear. That's, it will be okay. As a fat person that are close, you can wear. My brothers and sisters, don't allow, don't dance to war, don't dance to the Satan war, don't enter Satan boundary. If you enter his boundary, he will fashion you. He will give you some nasty things that he will use to deceive you. Be ye also ready. Bow down your head and talk to God. You check right now as we are talking. If the trumpet sound, what is your assurance of making heaven? If you are not yet giving your life, you have opportunity today. You have opportunity today. You know the stage of your Christianity. I have told you before you follow a pastor, check whether that pastor is from God or that pastor is for Satan. I told you, many of you, you don't, you don't take the word, but glory be to God, some of you that are taking the words you are hearing, glory be to God. Talk to God this morning. The message is over. Are ye ready? Remember the topic? The night is fast spent. Eternal Father, the King of all glory, I want to thank you this morning of your goodness and mercy, reminding us that the night is fast spent, that we should be ready, that you are coming soon. Almighty Father, I bow down myself, asking you, Father, that this message will not stand against me on the last day. Father, help me to live according to your will. May I not be cast away after I have preached to others. Lord, here are your children. I pray, Father, that you will have mercy upon all of us. 
many areas we are living in error i believe father for the sake of the love you have for us that is why you brought this message to our ear again father we have had it lord lord we ask for your abundant grace we ask for enablement we ask holy father to help us to be ready to put off the works of darkness those works of darkness of unforgiveness spirit malice ego proud arrogance immorality lord envy lord my father those things that occupy the heart of your children you know how to knock them out father help all those that are hearing my voice this morning even those that will still listen to this message father show them mercy lord i pray oh lord that none of them will go to hell lord my father help your children that value the things of this world more than you some value makeup and say i cannot do without makeup some are say i cannot do without this i can't do without this i can't do without this i can't do without this pressure father those are the excuse today lord that i hold multitudes of christians kati i pray father lord you will help them to cut off all the words of darkness in them some of them they are liars thief lord i pray you will help all your children all over the world all the christians lord that they may know the coming of jesus christ is at hand some are no longer careful some are doing any hard business some are into cooking business into atrocity using people's credit card doing yahoo plus yahoo pastors are saying yes this is my son your son is going to hell you said your son god forbid oh precious father i pray that you will show them mercy and recover the people that are on their way to hell i know my father that is the purpose why you lay the foundation of the church with your own blood lord may you not allow your blood to be in vain in the life of your children in my life father the life of my family the life of my wife lord help all of us that at the end of this journey who we meet in heaven father blessed be the holy name lord for you alone be the glorified lord as we return back on this program lord we return back by five uh, by one at uh, 12 30 lord help us after that as we return back to question and answer by 5 30 p.m today lord you will help us help us today to live above sin and at the end we have the cause to glorify i pray father for our children that you will also help our children for them not to be conquered by their sin by the things of this world lord give them the grace to overcome sin but at the end none of our children will go to hell father for oh, in jesus mighty name we have prayed lord amen we have